How y'all doing? Bricky with Ginger and the Desert Creations. I am plugging right along with my screens project. Gonna do a dirty straight pour. So let's go, baby! We have Creative Inspirations Viridian, Artist Law Deep Magina, Deco Art Sterling Silver, Deco Art Peacock Pearl, and Folk Art. Treasure Gold Fire Opal. All of these have flow and troll and minwax mixed in them to make the magic happen. And we have our little, little beaker as well as an 8x10 Arteza canvas panel. We are making this another part of the screens project. Sure, let's get it started. I actually kind of think that I want Fire Oval to end up in the middle, or in the end of the pour on this one, so a nice little dollop of that. And I say we're dirty pouring this, so pour from up high so that it goes down in and mixes well. I don't know why I closed the lid. Get rid of the lids. Let's get rid of the lids. And we can see what we're working with and actually be able to get access to it. Imagine that! Hmm. Something in that one. What's in my sterling silver? Whatever it is, it ain't there no more. Okay, let's get some silver! Magenta. Peacock pearl. A lot of peacock pearl, pearl apparently. Whoa! Oh, that is not good. That is a very expensive little spill right there. Mm hmm. Hmm. Let's see. How can we rescue our fire opal? Hang on. Okay. I'm satisfied with the level of rescue for my fire opal. I just scraped all that up off the table. It has a little bit of the Viridian in it, but this has a little bit of the Viridian in it, so let's be happy with that, huh? Okay, on there. <laughs> Using a lot of that silver. Sort of, you pour it close, and it pours on top, and then you lift it up, and it just kind of breaks through and goes underneath the surface, and creates a ton of mixing. Right. That should be enough to cover this canvas. Let's see what we get. Finish off the fire opal. Okay, I poured it down in. I'm also going to be pouring it from fairly high up, which will be even more mixing. Here with some meat. Popped a couple bubbles, but didn't really seem to do a whole lot.
taking care to move the weight of the paint back to the center before I come to the bare corners. There is something sitting right there in my paint. Do you see it? I see it. stick my finger down here to help support this as I tilt it because it may just decide to go for a ride and often do That bit in the middle looks a little much to me. I like what's happening elsewhere. This is just kind of becoming an overstretched mess. And it's not really doing what I wanted it to do either. I think I'm going to change my mind. And pare down my colors to just the sterling silver. Peacock pearl. Me in those woods again. And magenta. Get my way from lids. Lids and locks. I will always close them. I am just going. I like a little bit of the green in this but I wasn't liking a ton of it, so I'm going to use a little bit of the Viridian just at the very end, really high up pour, just almost a drizzle, kind of just a whisper in there. And I'm going to be okay with the fact that I just closed that lid because I wanted to be done. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to try to pour it closer as well. See if I like more what comes out of this. Something in my paint again. Try to pull this all this way and get some of this off of this corner now. Whoa! Like that, we take a trip. That is why I put my finger under it. Right there, it helps. Anchor. I 
I like the flow to it because it looks like it has this sort of a path around it. And I'm liking the cragginess that's going on in here. Hoping that dries well. Coming in for a closer. Look at the stripiness. Different colored tones coming out of all that. You wouldn't think that many colors could be created by the few that we put in there. Stripey, 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 stripey motion all the way up here. More stripies. All in the magenta. Check out that cragginess. Just like all those cracks are highlighted. They're not cracks, they're wet. Well, all those lines, all those lines, all those lines are highlighted. Very nifty. And there's glare off my lights. Unavoidable. Very, very tiny little bit of green. Thinking a little bit more green might pop up just because it's underneath, but it might not. I would be happy if it didn't. But it'll probably be okay if it does. Sure. Hang around for the dried result. Say hello to Cotton Candy. It's a little on the shiny side because I had a little elf come into my workshop while I was away and varnish everything under the sun. Which is okay, but it was a little surprising. <laughs> so it's shiny because it's done. Take a look at those cells and the layering of the paint. All that goodness going on in there. So that leaves, what, four more installments for our screens project? I am not sure which way is up with this one. But because it may be this way, or this way, it might actually look better that way. Hmm, maybe this way up. Cotton candy, this way up. Anyway, that's another one for our screens project. Kind of bright, kind of pinky, still kind of blue. Like all that's going on in there. Interesting. The cells just kind of, kind of simple on the colors, but shows them off well. I think it shows them off well. So that is Cotton Candy. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Bye bye.